This video is going to show you how to use Casio FXCG50 to perform the Euler's method for one independent variable and one dependent variable. For this differential equation problem, we are given that dy over dx equals to y over 4x. And the two initial conditions are x equals to 2 and y equals to 3. We are going to use Euler's method with a step length of 0 0.1 to find an approximation for y when x equals to 2.3. Euler's method is actually an approximation method by using the concept of sequences. And before we try to have some input in the GDC, we are going to set up a system first. By using Euler's method, we can always try to use the coordinates xn and yn to predict the future coordinates xn plus 1, yn plus 1. In order to perform this, we are going to set up a recurrence relation connecting xn and xn plus 1, connecting yn and yn plus 1. So for the independent variable x, we can consider using xn plus 1 equals to the previous x coordinate xn plus 0 0.1. As 0 0.1 is the step length, and then for the formula for yn plus 1, a part of it would be similar to the above formula. So we are going to consider yn plus 1 equals to yn and then plus 0 0.1. But after this 0 0.1, we are going to multiply with another component called dy over dx at xn yn. As from this question, we are given that dy over dx equals to y over 4x. Here, we are going to set up a fraction where the numerator would be yn and the denominator would be 4 times xn. And for the initial conditions, we are going to use x0 and y0 to represent, which means we are going to have x0 equals to 2, also y0 equals to 3. As the step length is defined to be 0 0.1, and when we are going to approximate the value of y when x equals to 2.3, which means after three step lengths, which means what we are going to trace by using the GDC would be the value of y3. Now we can start from the main menu of this GDC. We can choose the option 8, recursion, and there should be three rows an plus 1 dn plus 1 and cn plus 1. But as in our question, we have only one independent variable and one dependent variable, which means we are going to use the first two rows only. In the following input, we are going to consider the small letter a representing the small letter x, where the small letter b represents the small letter y. As we are going to input a system of recurrence relations, we are going to express an plus 1 in terms of an and also express bn plus 1 in terms of an and bn. From the system, we have xn plus 1 equals to xn plus 0 0.1, which means on the first row, we are going to input an plus 1 equals to an plus 0 0.1. Then we are going to press the F4 button to input an. And then by pressing F2, and then plus 0 0.1, and we are going to input yn plus 1 equals to yn plus 0 0.1 times the expression of dy over dx at xn yn. For the second row, we are going to input bn by pressing F4 button, and then press F3 button, and then plus 0 0.1 times the open bracket, and then we are going to input a fraction template. As we are given that dy over dx equals to y over 4x, which means for the numerator, we are going to input bn. And then for the denominator, we are going to input 4an. And then close bracket. Once we confirm the expression, we can press enter. And then the next step, we are going to tell the GDC what would be the starting point and the initial conditions. And we can try to press the F5 button. 
So for this table setting n plus 1, usually the starting point we are going to set n equals to 0. And then as we are going to find an approximation for the value of y when x equals to 2.3, which would be represented by y3. And for the second row here, we can choose n equals to 3. And then for the third row, a0 here represents x0, which is the initial value of x. So we are going to choose 2. b0 is corresponding to the initial value of y, and then we are going to choose 3. Once everything is ready, we can try to press the exit button and then the F6 button to see the result. As we are going to find an approximation for the value of y when x equals to 2.3, then we can try to focus on the fourth row, which is corresponding to n equals to 3 and x equals to 2.3. And then we look at the entry in the last column, we can see that the value of y3 would be 3.1085886677. Therefore, by using the result from the GDC, we will be able to have the required approximation to be y3 equals to 3.11.